Today I, I would like to review this Craftsman e volt It's a 3.6 volts screwdriver. It have a built-in LED, which illuminates the work area. It's ultra compact, uh, and you can work in a uh, very tight spaces using this tool from Craftsman. It have um, one dash four in collect, which accepts all one dash four hex bits. It's moving on a speed of 200 RPMs and uh, gives you 24, 27 pounds of torque. It can forward and reverse. It's very ergonomic and it has a soft grip. It powers by 3.6 volt um, nickel battery. Let's remove it from the box and review this tool, this amazing tool from Craftman. This is what you will get. The power adapter. The tool itself. And manual. How properly to use it. Let's put it uh, to charge before the first use. The battery have to be fully recharged. The indicator is on. Let's wait. Approximately 40 minutes already elapsed. It's still charging. It will take some time. It says in the manual that it has to be initially charged for at least 10 hours. That's why let's wait. And optimum performance could be reached by recharging the screwdriver for 3-5 hours after use. It's not recommended to recharge the screwdriver for less than 3 hours or more than 15 hours after each use. And the charger have to be original. It was left to charge overnight and surprisingly for me lately already indicator is still on even after more than 10 hours have been elapsed. Let's wait a little bit longer since it's just a first recharge. Approximately 12 hours. It definitely requires some time, but it's very important to fully recharge it before the first time you will use this screwdriver. And any other device which have lithium batteries in it. The charging is completed, let's disconnect it. Moves pretty fast, 3.6 volts. Reverse mode working as well. Let's test it with different bits. You can easily choose all bit, which one you need. Position it right here, and you're good to go. Besides it, you can use a different adapter. For example, if you would like to use it with this one, use it as well. Using this 532 bit you can have any extension there. You just simply need to position into your e-wall from Craftman just like that. You can put the bit which is star which is very small and tiny and then you easily can remove bolt, which is star bolt, just simple as this. So it can save you a huge amount of time.